Yo guys, what's up? Lucky here. And very quickly before this video is going to start, I wanted to say that I am sorry for the few uploading and very short videos lately. I would love to make some longer, more edit intensive ones, but I currently don't really have the time for that because I'm currently struggling through my test weeks on school. So I hope you guys kind of understand that, but when the week full of rape is over, I'm going to make some better and longer videos of course. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this little trick video I have for you today, and I will check you guys later. Yo guys, what's up? Lucky here, and today I'm going to show you an awesome way to basically get free and unlimited automatic fire extinguishers in World of Tanks. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so let's first start off into the garage, because the first thing you want to do is you want to pick any vehicle you want the free unlimited fire extinguishers on, and you click on service. And of course, as you guys already guessed, you're going to select a manual fire extinguisher, not the premium one, the manual one. And the other two slots, you can just pick whatever you want. And you might be thinking now, Lucky, what the fuck are you doing? You're just you're just mocking us off or something by picking just the normal ones and saying in the terminal, oh, it's a premium one. Well, just hold on, I'll explain. So what you want to do next is you want to go to your settings. You want to go to settings. And you want to go over to the controls tab. And this right here is where you want to be because this is very important. What you want to do now is you want to change consumable 6 from 6 to spacebar. And you might be thinking, what the fuck are you doing? Well, relax, I'll explain in just a minute. So once you've done that, you click apply. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, make sure that you actually correspond to this, uh, the spacebar setting to the slot where you have your fire extinguisher selected. For example, in my case, it's the third slot. So that means that uh, for me, the 6 key is going to be the fire extinguisher slot. But if you have the fire extinguisher on your second slot, it's going to be consumable 5. And if you if you have your fire extinguisher on your first slot, it will be consumable 4. So just make sure that you change the consumable activation button to the corresponding slot on your tank. So once you've done that, you go, you go just apply, OK. And now here is the clue that I'm going to show you guys right now. So guys, right here, this is where the magic happens. Welcome to my keyboard. And as you guys can see right here, where you play normally, you have your hands usually positioned like this. And the clue here is, is when you get set on fire, the default key to extinguish it is the 6 key. And as you guys can see right here, you have to move your hand all the way to the 6 key. And by doing that, you make yourself unable to turn to the right because your finger is away from the D key. And on top of that, you also increase the time that it takes to extinguish the fire. And the time that you're actually moving your finger towards the 6 key, it actually starts burning and burning and burning. And that's not what you want. And also, if you are not that experienced, you also might miss the 6 key quite a lot. So, for example, you hit the 5 or the 4 key when you accidentally repair a track where it's not meant to. So, what I just did back there in the garage is actually changing the 6 key to the space bar. And as you can see right here, the normal natural position of your hand while controlling the tank, your thumb is already very, very close to the space bar. So once you get set on fire, you only have to push your thumb down and it is extinguished. So you pretty much extinguish the fire at the same time as the automatic fire extinguisher does. So by applying this trick and applying just the manual fire extinguisher, you just have the effect of an automatic fire extinguisher, but you pay the price of a normal one, which is actually quite ideal because it's going to save you a lot of credits. So hopefully this little trick worked all out for you guys. If it did, please let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll check you guys later.